As I said in our last class, we are continuing from our last class. And we are going to look at a combination of cells. And you know that cell can be in series, it can be in parallel. So when you connect cell end to end, that is a series. When you connect cell uh, side to side, that is parallel. So let's see. But we know that this is a symbol of a cell. This is the symbol of a cell. Then the longer one is a positive, short one is a negative. So series, when two cells are connected in series, this is how they look like. E1, E2, E3. So, and each of these cells has what we call internal resistance. And we say that we have defined internal resistance, that internal resistance is the opposition offered by the electrolyte to the free flow of current. Three. So total, uh, total combination of these three cells now, E will be E1 plus E2 plus E3, when the cells are connected in series. And total inter-resistance R, R1 plus R2 plus R3. So can you, we can differentiate between internal resistance and the normal resistance. Normal resistance is given by capital R, while this one is given by small r. Then parallel can be okay. Before then, you know when these cells are reversed. Look at it. This one positive, 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 negative, negative, negative. But if these cells are reversed, you notice something. You see positive here, yeah? negative, negative, positive, positive, negative. But you see this one, positive, 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 negative, follow negative, negative. So the combination of this one now will be E1, where we have a reverse. You see this one is reverse. So at that point we have negative E2, then E continue plus E3. So look at it, where we have reverse, then you write negative. But the resistors have no polarity, so it remains the same. Then the parallel is like this. E1, E2, E Three. And each of them have internal resistance depending on number of resistors you have. So in this one, in this, the total EMF is the same because they are parallel. But internal resistance 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So in this one, the resistors are inverse or the reciprocal. And also, if we have a side group like this, so whenever you see this one, this one is telling you the internal 
this area now is telling you the internal resistance. So, this is the current I, then EMF E, then internal resistance R, then the terminal resistance R, capital R. So, this is how the current flows from higher to lower potential, from higher positive negative. So this one here, we are following this one. This is positive, negative. Positive here, negative here. So if we are entering through, if we are entering through positive and going out through negative, the sign we meet first, we take that. Is that okay? The sign we meet first, we take that. Or if we are going this way, and the sign we meet on our way going, we take that. Is that okay? So let's start this way. If we are going this way, okay, this is negative, negative. Sorry, negative positive, negative positive. So if we are going this way, the sign we meet from our going, we pick. From here we meet positive, so we pick positive. E, then here we are going out through negative, there is voltage drop here, so this is minus. I, R. Then coming up here, we are going out through negative here. We have minus I small r and total zero. Is that okay? So at the end of the day, E is equal to I. We take this two to the other side. I, R plus I small r. But from Ohm's law, we say that I capital R is V. V is equal to I capital R. But before then, let's have this as E equal to what is common here. I is common. We have R plus small r. So I is equal to E over capital R plus small r. But in a situation where internal resistance is neglected, then we take away this. But if we consider internal resistance, then this one will follow. And also this, we also have this as E equal to, since we say V is IR, V equal, E is equal to V plus IR. So we call this one terminal velocity. This one is voltage drop across the resistance. Then this one is voltage drop across uh, internal resistance. So these are equations that may be used to solve different questions. If you are asked to solve for current, use this one. When EMF is given, then resistance is given and internal resistance is given. So, We'll stop here and we'll continue in our next class by solving some questions. So I hope to see you. Thank you.